Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zion, also known as Zion the Queen, and I'm bringing you nothing but beautiful beautiful online videos and beautiful places you love to tour should you visit Ghana or relocate to Ghana. In order not to miss any of my videos, kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified on each of my uploads. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and share. So guys, before I proceed, I want to talk about an interesting video that I saw online from Good Morning America and yes, Good Morning America was in Ghana to shine the spotlight on Ghana on one of their episodes and I just want you to watch the videos and I will be back. And live in Ghana, more than 33 million people live in that country and just recently an influx of Americans have moved there. Hey Robin, don't tell us you're moving. I'm not accepting that. <laughs> Michael, you know, many people are coming here to connect with their history. 65 years ago, Ghana gained independence from colonial rule. Ever since, it has been leading the charge in innovation and development. Ghana, with its echoing drum beats, rich rainforest, expansive beaches, and deep rooted history. is now ready to take center stage. Tonight, the Global Citizen Festival comes to Ghana for the very first time. Host Denai Guerrera, welcoming 20,000 fans in person. Audiences tuning in worldwide. The Global Citizen Festival. Why was it important for you to take part? It's always been about celebrating activists who are doing amazing things across the globe. The gathering of even the talent that was here, there's been so much amazing attention to African artists. Could it be something to do with Black Panther? <laughs> Why do you feel it had such an impact? The world was ready to really take in Africa in a whole new way, in a way that shows our specificity, our excellence, our diversity, our coolness, you know, <laughs> it really gave an esteem to the continent and an attention from the world that I think it was ready for. It's Ghana's mission to thrive as a cultural hub and tourist destination, but also as a place to call home. I'm happy here. I feel a sense of alignment. I feel a sense of fulfillment. I think just as a black American coming to Ghana, it's a return home. An estimated 5,000 black Americans have relocated to Ghana over the past two years. To Ghana. Including podcast host Demetria L. Lucas, who says she feels the excitement a possibility. You see that there's cranes in the sky, literally. Like they're, they're building the city. And for me as an artist, like I can feel the energy. I feel like I'm living in the middle of a renaissance. And a renaissance is exactly what African leaders on Cape Coast hope to create. We are looking at Africa without borders. It's happening. The future is Africa. It's never going get old. Influenced in part by the success of Marvel's Black Panther, proposals like Wakanda One, envisioning bustling futuristic cities that honor the history and embrace what's to come. We want to make sure Wakanda One City is futuristic. It's a sustainable energy city. There's hope for change. And we have to teach our children to empower people using technology. That innovation is something artist David Alabo is also exploring. It's really cool to look at these names. Two artists sharing their love for culture. Tell me about this astounding piece of art. I was thinking about how can I reinterpret classic tarot cards in an African perspective. And obviously, like, I had to put the Black Panther in because those movies have been a massive inspiration for me. Here at the newly built Freedom Skate Park, creativity flows through this space designed to connect the young people of Accra to the arts. Talk to me a little bit about this wall. This wall includes all the names of everybody who has helped create this place, from Virgil Abloh, may you rest in peace. We had Kendrick Lamar here the other month, and obviously you here. It inspires us, you know, when you come and you see what we're trying to do as well. Oh my goodness. 
I'm back now with Denai, and I love how you were trained on the monitor watching that piece with such pride because you know that people are seeing Africa now in a different light. Yeah, I mean, it, that is really, as I was telling you yesterday, Robin, mm -hmm. it, all my whole adult life, I mean, when I moved to the United States in 19, I've always wanted to, like, just turn the camera a little bit towards the continent because there's so many brilliant people. Every time I come here, I get blown away by people like David and so many more people will see today. And it really, really is so exciting to just have that happening. And, and you know, the, the aspect of how the film might uh, make people look more to the continent and, mm -hmm. and how, you know, it's what was already here. Right. It, it, it actually, we're, the, the movie is inspired by the real. Not the other way. Not the other, other way. way around. No. And we saw, though, that Wakanda won, the futuristic city. Yes. What is your hope for the future of Africa? Oh, gosh, that's, that's, that's almost an emotional question. I mean, there's so much that um, I just want to, I want to see the continent and its people allowed to fully realize their potential. And it's happening. It's happening more and more and more. Mm -hmm. And the more it happens, the more powerful this continent becomes. And the world cannot ignore it. No, they cannot. Well, thank you so much. Ghana is a beautiful culture-filled country located in the western part of Africa. A small country with impressive tourist sites to show the world. Ghana comprises of 16 regions and every region boasts of a place you can explore. Now on your trip to Ghana, try to pull yourself away from the idyllic places and explore some of the lesser known areas and enjoy your stay or vacation. Visit the Umbrella Rock. The Umbrella Rock tourist attraction in Esiafwa Manfrom in the eastern region is found at the site of the Boti Falls in Yilokoba district. As the name implies, the Umbrella Rock is quite unique and about 15 to 20 people can comfortably take shelter under it. The rock was discovered by a hunter who had gone hunting in the forest some decades ago. Since then, it has been a tourist attraction and a comfortable shelter should you try it. The Boti Falls Waterfalls always attract people all around the world. Located in the eastern region in Ghana, it takes its source from the Pon Pon River. The 30 meter high seasonal falls is set within the Boti Falls Reserve. It boasts of animal trees, ancient caves and sites including the Umbrella Rock, the three-headed palm tree, Africa Map Rock, Prayer Rock, Genital Rock, Giant Footstep Rock, Tree on a Rock, Asian Cave, and Picnic Grounds. Boti Falls is truly one of the natural wonders of Ghana with breathtaking sights. The Mali National Park Located within the Savannah Land Tourism Destination Area, Mole is Ghana's first largest, most prestigious protected area. It has no standard natural, physical, historical, and cultural values. Mole is rich in biodiversity with 742 vascular plant species and over 90 mammal species. The park has elephants, buffaloes, cob, western hat beast, roan, antelope, arby, and many more. Also rare and endangered species include the leopard, lion, yellow-back duker, black and white Columbus monkey, some reptiles, amphibian species and 120 butterfly species. Mali shares its borders with 33 French communities in two of Ghana's region, northern region and upper west region. Visitors can visit not only the park, but some of these neighboring communities and explore their rich cultural heritage, architecture, and traditional livelihood activities. Nearby tourist attractions include the Paga Crocodile, the Pokoro Slave Camp, Ancient Mocks, the Larabanga Mystery Stone, Daboya Smog Village, and many more. The Zena Lodge. After having the best wildlife experience and unforgettable memories, don't forget to visit and relax yourself at the Zena Lodge which is nestled in the heart of the Mole Forest. Beaches Ghana has huge appeal for beach lovers. Now, one of the most picturesque destinations in Ghana are places by the beach. Beautiful blonde beaches and long stretch of crystal clear waters makes this one of the most inviting areas to dip your toes in the sea or get yourself a beach chair for the view. Some beautiful Ghana beaches include the La Palme Royale Beach in Accra, 
the Busa Beach Resorts in the Western Region, the Bojo Beach in Accra, the Anomago Beach Resorts in the Central Region, the Labadi Beach in Accra, and Cobra Beach in Aksim, and many more. Castles. Castles in Ghana with the architectural heritage is a brilliant way for visitors to understand what Ghana looked like a few centuries ago. The coast of Ghana has countless ancient castles and forts, marking the beginning of slaves' perilous journey during the era of slave trade. These fortresses were the last memory slaves had of their homeland before being shipped across the Atlantic, never to return again. From holding gold, ivory and other wares, the castles, as time went on, was used to imprison slaves who were reduced to yet another commodity. The majestic fortresses housed dark dungeons, overflowing with misery and despair, right up until the slave trade was gradually abolished by each of the colonial powers in the first half of the 1800s. Some of the 32 castles and forts include the Cape Coast Castle, Elmina Castle, Osu Castle, Fort Orange, and Fort Sebastian. Hallelujah, you know I've been blind.